The New York Knicks are suing the Toronto Raptors, and it is getting ugly right now in the NBA. We're going to break everything down that you need to know that's going on between the two Eastern Conference franchises. But I've been asked a couple of times, Marsh, does this mean the OG and OB trade rumors are dead? Uh, yeah. I don't think that the Toronto Raptors are going to be wanting to deal with the New York Knicks as there is a lawsuit going on between the two teams. We'll talk more about OG and Obi at the tail end of the show. Let's start, though, with trying to break down everything that is going on. Here is pictured Coach Ike. He is a former Knicks assistant video coordinator, and that is the brand-new head coach, Mr. Rayakovich, for the Toronto Raptors. And let's just start it off with this. The Knicks and Raptors lawsuit. The lawsuit alleges that the Raptors' new head coach Illegal, excuse me, the Knicks former video coordinator, Coach Ike Azotam. I'm going to butcher his name 10 more times. I apologize for that. But he illegally shared 3,358 video files with the New York Knicks. And that is just the beginning of what happened. I want to go to this tweet right here. And it kind of just illustrates the point that there is a long history between the New York Knicks and the Toronto Raptors. This isn't the first time that there's been any sort of drama between the two teams. Let's start with this. The Raptors and Knicks had some contentious history dating back more than 20 years. Current New York owner James Dolan reportedly nixed a trade that would have sent Raptors icon Kyle Lowry to the Knicks in 2013 because Dolan was fearful of being fleeced in another trade by Raptors president Masai Ujiri, who had pried away a generous package of draft picks and players for Carmelo Anthony when Ujiri was running the Denver Nuggets. In 2000, the Toronto coach Butch Carter filed a defamation lawsuit against the Knicks forward Marcus Camby over comments Camby made after Toronto traded him to the Knicks in 1999. In another instance, Ujiri's first move after becoming the head man in Toronto was to saddle the Knicks with the contract of Andrea Bargnani in a deal for three players and three draft picks. So there has been a long history between the Knicks and the Raptors and a lot of complications. Well, there has been nothing like this up to date. The Athletic, Fred Katz, and another beat reporter for them did a really good job of outlining what happened in this lawsuit. Let's break it down. Quote, the lawsuit alleges that Coach Ike, the Knicks' former director of video analytics and player development, stole propri proprietary information, including scouting reports, play frequency reports, a prep book, and a link to a third-party licensed software and used it to help Rayakovich, the new head coach for the Raptors, acclimate to his first head coaching job. That the suit says that in July, around the time Coach Ike told the Knicks he had a job offer from Toronto, he started to forward information from his Knicks email account to his personal Gmail account. What a dodo bird. The suit alleges that the Raptors defendants directed Coach Ike to misuse his access to the Knicks Synergy Sports account to create and transfer more than three thousand files with film and data including 3300 video files the knicks discovered his transfer on august 15th and say that those files were accessed by more than 2000 times by the toronto raptors even more information is coming out and it was said in there allegedly raptors new head coach darko rayakovich was in on this supposedly he was pushing coach ike to be the rat at Madison Square Garden. Quote, to assist this novice coach in doing his job, defendant Rayakovich and the other Raptors defendants conspired to use Coach Ike's position as a current Knicks insider to funnel proprietary information to the Raptors to help them organize, plan, and structure the new coaching and video operations staff. Defendant Rayakovich and the other Raptors defendants recruited and used Coach Ike to serve as a mole within the Knicks organization to convey information that would assist the Raptors defendants in trying to manage their team. A whole lot of words, to be honest with you, that I don't even really know what they mean or things that I just said, but pretty much the Raptors had Coach Ike, while he was still working with the Knicks, 
funnel their organization information and confidential reports, scouting, video, everything that the Knicks had built up, he pretty much shared that with the Toronto Raptors. This is a wild story when you think about what is going on between the Toronto Raptors and the New York Knicks. And we've seen some of these other things happen, like in the MLB. I believe it was the uh, St. Louis Cardinals did this one time. But I think this is the, the funny point. The Knicks went from the laughing stock of the league just a couple of years ago to now being a team that people are trying to steal information on when it comes to team building, coaching, and scouting. It, it, it's ridiculous. Um, I will say this, though. Of all other 29 coaches in the NBA that Rayakovich wanted to steal information from on game planning and playbooks, he decided to steal Tom Thibodeau's playbook? Oh, my God. I like Tibbs. Uh, never would I think that he is the guy that has the most dynamic playbook uh, that someone would want to steal from. Look, I think the only fair explanation and result of this is the Knicks should just get the Raptors' first-round pick this year. The Knicks should get the 2024 first round pick that belongs to the Toronto Raptors, or they should just have to give us OG and an OB for free. Uh, I'm no lawyer, I'm no judge, but that seems fair for both sides. Give us OG and an OB, or give us a first round pick, and we will we, we'll, we'll remove the lawsuit. How about that? I do know this though. If any more info comes out about the lawsuit, the Raptors the Knicks, or if the Knicks make any sort of moves, we are going to make a video. So subscribe to Knicks Now by Chat Sports. Free Knicks content every single day. And the season is right around the corner, which means Knicks watch parties are back, baby. Let's go back to what we talked about at the top of the show. Are the OG and an OB trade hopes dead? Yeah, those are dead. Those are acts. Those are six feet in the ground. That is never going to happen. Masai Ujiri and James Dolan hate each other, number one. And number two, another thing on top of the long history that they have, there is no way, no how that the Knicks and the Raptors are going to be able to come to a trade. So put the OG trade rumors to, de to, 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 to bed. They're dead. It's it just not going to happen. But what about this? OG Ananobi is a free agent this summer. So maybe the Knicks go out and sign him in free agency. Well, not going to happen because the Knicks do not have any cap space. And the Toronto Raptors are no way, no how, going to help facilitate a sign-and-trade for OG Ananobi. So, unfortunately, the guy that's been pushing the OG Ananobi um, story for 15 months at this point, uh, it's dead. No more OG Ananobi trade talks on this channel, unless more news and rumors come out. But right now, I think the idea of OG being traded from the Raptors to the Knicks is uh, no longer going to happen. So spam the chat. Type RIP in the chat. Because I've had a lot of fun on this show diving into OG Ananobi and the fit he would be and trade packages he would be and why he would help the Knicks and the advanced analytics, watching film and everything. But right now, the OG Ananobi trade hopes are dead. Spam it in the comment section. RIP. Let's put it to bed. If it's not going to be Joe, uh, OG Ananobi, let's just quickly go over some other New York Knicks trade candidates that I think could happen uh, this upcoming season. I think Joel Embiid is number one on this list. We've talked about it time and time again on this channel. Just type Joel Embiid, New York Knicks now, and there'll be plenty of videos for you to watch to get the information. But I think he is number one on the New York Knicks big board right now. I'm still putting Zion Williamson on this board. There's just too many connections to the New York Knicks CAA, R.J. Barrett's best friend. He wanted to be a Nick on draft night, and he said his favorite place to play is Madison Square Garden. I am not putting the Zion Williamson trade rumors to bed just yet, and neither will I with Zach Levine, as I still think that if the Chicago Bulls get off to a rocky start, that he could be on the move when the NBA trade deadline gets here once the new year of 2024 arrives. Not going to say that he is untouchable right now for the Chicago Bulls. Another guy. I still think Donovan Mitchell is a New York Knicks trade candidate. We've talked about Mitchell plenty of times on this channel before. Look, if he doesn't sign that contract extension prior to the season getting underway, expect to see more videos about Donovan Mitchell on this channel. And the last player, what about Brandon Ingram, Team USA teammate with Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart? If you think that Brunson 
and Hart are not recruiting players on Team USA right now, wake the hell up because they absolutely are. That's what they do. There's been so many superstar duos and trios where the relationships have been born at Team USA. Let's talk about the Miami Heat Big Three with LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh. What about Kevin Durant and Bradley Beal and Devin Booker? You see it all the time. These superstars get together for months at a time, and they're the only people they're talking to and hanging out with. They form bonds. They form friendships. And good players, whether you believe it or not, like to play with other good players. I guarantee the Knicks are recruiting Brandon Ingram at this current moment. Is it one of these five guys that we just talked about as to someone you want to trade for the Knicks? Or is there someone else out there across the association that you want to see put on the orange and blue with New York across their chest? Give me a name of a player that you want the Knicks to trade for right now in the comment section. And remember, you can always give me a follow over on Twitter. I'm down to talk Knicks news and rumors or just chat about life over there. So give me a follow at Marshall Green underscore and let's go Knicks.